Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth is, is that not everybody's going to be happy when you do a sneaker trade. What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to have a quick discussion video about something that I saw earlier today. So I was watching the video and it's on the lines of same thing that I talked about. If you don't know about this shoe, about trading for a sneaker. So this sneaker right here is the Jordan 1 Soulfly. I just did a sneaker trade of about seven pair of shoes for this uh, sneaker. Now, with that being said, I did, I've done a trade video before and I've talked about trades and doing trades and stuff like that. So, you know, as you can see from the title, you know, a lot of people have those questions about sneaker store, whether or not it's a good idea to trade for a shoe. So what I want out of this video, I want some dialogue from you guys and your thoughts and opinion, buying, selling, trading, whatever it may tune into the channel. I'm Tori KT with Drip TV. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning into the channel. If you like sneaker content, please stick around. Hit the subscribe button, it's free. I appreciate it. Thank you again. So let's get right back into the video. So again, the topic is about buying, selling, and trading in sneakers. So I was watching a particular video and uh, I'm not going to say the video. I'm not going to say who it was and I don't want to put people on blast or anything like that because I'm all about positivity. But the one thing that I will say is, is that I was reading some of the comments and so I'll pop some of the comments up on the screen and you can read it. There's a lot more that I didn't screenshot or whatever, but I just threw up a few and you know, a lot of times people think about sneaker stores buying, selling and trading and a lot of resellers get bad reputation, so to speak. And where people think, oh, they're scamming. Oh, they're charging too much. They're, they're doing this, they're doing that. In this video, it talks somewhat about that. And it talks about our sneaker stores scamming people. Um, now I'll say this, I'm not gonna say any sneaker store is scamming. I'm not gonna say anybody's scamming. Now, with that being said, yes, a lot of stores have higher prices than others. Um, and sometimes you get that question, are you gonna get the bang for your buck when you go trade your, your shoes in? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. And the truth is, is that not everybody's gonna be happy when you do a sneaker trade. The thing is, is that you're always gonna have that in your back of your mind. Am I getting the most for my money? No, I'm not getting the most for my money. You're gonna have that doubt and you're gonna be like, man, I could have just sold them and got more money. So at the end of the day, the thing of it is, is that the sneaker store is trying to make money. You're trying to make money. You're trying to get the most out of your sneakers that you have if you're trading for a shoe. Or for this shoe right here, the Soulfly, I just did a sneaker trade and I did a video on it earlier. You can go check it out. And I just traded in about seven pair of shoes for this shoe. Now, a lot of people might say, you're crazy for trading that many pair of shoes in. But to me, as I said in my first video, most of those shoes, all of them except for maybe one or two, uh, I had doubles to everything else. So honestly, I didn't really lose anything. At the same time too, it helped me downsize my collection where I don't have so many and it's not taking up too much space. I don't wanna have shoes that are overrunning every room of the house. I'm trying to keep it to a minimal, and I'm, you know, it's one of those things where I felt like I can afford to do that. Now, I felt like I got a okay deal with that. Now, yes, if I would've took those shoes and sold them, I would've got more money than what I traded it in for. Honestly, you know, for me, getting this shoe, having the doubles, clearing out some stuff, for me, made more sense than trying to spend, I don't know how long to try to sell those shoes and get more money out of it. So for me, I felt that the, the reward was greater than sitting there trying to uh, sell the shoes. Now, same thing with these, if you saw the video about me obtaining the Travis Scott's. Now, I got this at a local shop, uh, Holy Ground in Upland, California. Now, with that being said, I built a relationship with them and Andrew over there, the owner, um, as well as uh, Sebastian, who's the manager. I've been going there for a while, so I trust them. And I, you know, I was able to trade in, I think it was about seven pairs of shoes too, as well for this one. And with that, all the shoes that I traded in to that one, except for one, except for two, I had doubles. Again, it helped me downsize. Now for me, my situation is totally different than everybody else's. I felt that it was, you know, 
beneficial to me where I can get something that I know I'm gonna wear and I got these for my birthday. Now, with me saying all of that, again, I wanna find out from you guys whether or not you think that these sneaker stores are trying to scam you or what's the situation or you feel like you're always getting lowballed or what's the situation as far as, you know, buying and selling and trading? Do you feel like you're getting lowball? Do you feel like you're getting scammed? Do you feel like you're not getting what you're worth um, for your sneakers? What's your opinion? Again, trading shoes for me is not a bad thing to do, especially where I'm at right now in my sneaker collecting. I'd rather downsize some a little bit and I'm still able to get some and have room and not have everything overrun the house. I'm not one of those ones that want to have shoes everywhere in the house. I want to keep it to a minimal, even though I do have a lot right now. Still, let me know your thoughts and opinion on buying, selling, and trading shoes. The truth of it is, is that not everyone's going to be happy. But at the same time, too, you know, you have to figure out that median ground to figure out whether or not, you know, you're going to be happy with a trade. You're going to have to be happy with selling. You're going to, you know, the, the reseller sneaker store wants to get their money you want to get what you want to get sometimes you're going to have to bend and sometimes you don't and that's the thing of it is is that sometimes you have to stick to your guns and you have to stick to what you believe in and not sell your shoes or trade your shoes if you feel like you're getting scammed or you're not getting what you're worth on your shoes again i appreciate everyone who tuned into the channel I talk real talk stuff here, sneaker stuff and everything. I know I'm not a big YouTube channel, but I appreciate everyone who's been supporting the channel, subscribing to the channel, watching the videos. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Again, stay blessed. And remember, you're never too old to drip.